Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video we are going to refactor our code. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, why would you want to take a look at this video at all? Because it's not about Firebase authentication, well, at all. Now, you want to take a look at this video because you want to learn to be a real programmer. And that is what we teach here on this channel, how to become a real developer, an iOS developer. And refactoring and bug hunting and creating fixes is what you will mainly do. And refactoring is one of those things that will save you a ton of time and issues along down the road. So, what I mean by that? Now, we have here our welcome controller. So, as you can see, there is a lot of code in here and it's kind of spread out as I just typed in all of these buttons and functions and so on. Now, I want to make this uh, tidier. I want to tidy up this code. If you take a look at the number here, we have our methods, our uh, properties. It is uh, quite a mess. Now, let us just go ahead and let's create a new line where that will be shown under the HUD. So, type in a mark and add in two lines there. And as you can see, oh, only one line, sorry. As you can see, we have one line under this HUD. Now, I want to add and collect here my sign-in buttons. So, I will mark this sign-in buttons. Okay, here is the sign-in anonymously button. Uh, let's add this Facebook button. So let's copy that out and paste it in here. And I want to fetch my Twitter sign in with Twitter button. So let's copy that. Well, rather yet cut it out and paste it under the sign in with Facebook button. Now, if you can take a look at the sign in buttons, here we have those three buttons. Okay, now let's create our handlers. So I will copy this out and paste it in here. And now these will be... And here I have the handle sign in anonymously button, uh, handle sign in uh, with Facebook button. And let's grab our Twitter, handle Twitter button Okay, uh, let's go, uh, cut that out and go back here and here we go. Sandal sign in with Facebook button tab, just paste that under there. Now, next up is that we are, after we handle the button tab, we are signing into Firebase with Twitter, with Facebook and that is here. So. Let me just grab another mark here and put it down below. Okay, and here we are just sign into Firebase. We are just signing into Firebase. And let's just grab our Twitter signing into Firebase method. Okay, and let's cut this out and put it under the sign into Firebase. Well, basically this is signing into Firebase with Facebook. I will change that uh, later on. Next up, let me just copy our mark and put it down here. We are fetching our Facebook and Twitter users. So our mark will be fetch user. And that is pretty straightforward. And I will copy out and paste this fetch Twitter user uh, here under the fetch Facebook user function. Let me just uh, delete this line. 
And finally, we are saving our user into uh, the database. So another mark here, save user into database, Firebase database. And finally, we are setting up our views. I just know that because I saw what uh, is left here. So I will just paste that in there. Uh, now, if you try to search uh, this uh, Swift file, you will see that it is in a much ordered way. You know what you are doing and you know the kind of known the flow of the interaction so we have our, our buttons our handlers once we tap on that handlers we sign into firebase then we fetch our user and we save our user into the firebase database pretty good now i can see that we need to uh, change some method names here. The first one is this sign into Firebase. We don't really know how to sign, what this means. So let's tap into that. And we can see that we are signing in into Firebase with Facebook. So I will just rename this, right click on it and type in sign into Firebase with Facebook. Great, now uh, it uh, looks uh, much uh, better sign in anonymously sign in with facebook button tab and hand what is this handle twitter button tab yeah uh, we need to change this to handle sign in with twitter button tab let's see what else do we need here we have our sign in Anonymously button, sign in with Facebook, sign in with sign in with Twitter button. We are have the handlers here, Facebook and Twitter. And that looks just fine. Okay, now uh, let us just uh, take care of uh, the actual bug that we have inside our code. And I will show you what I mean by that if we just run our code here and we try to log in anonymously well we will not have a crash but we will still have a bug and that is that we are not displaying anything when we fetch our users and we are logged in anonymously so let me just show you what I mean let's just wait for that to build so let us just sign in anonymously. We are signing in, great. Let's go to the user profile. And if we tap on fetch user, we are fetching the user, but we get back an error, failed to fetch user. Now that is because we are not saving the data into the Firebase database. So let's fix that first. Once we are successfully signed in, anonymously with our user ID and I will just delete this. We are dismissing the HUD. Now that is not what we really want to do and I will just simply delete this. What we want to do is uh, save user into the Firebase database. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, maybe at the self here. Let's jump into this definition and what we are doing here is actually uh, guard let unwrapping our name, username, email, profile image and if we are not have getting these then we are dismissing our HUD with an error failed to save user and that is what we are shown because we are not getting a profile image. Now, we do have a name, so let me just scroll that back up. We do have a name, we do have a username and an email, and it is empty. But we don't have a profile image. Now, let's add a dummy profile image into our assets. So let me just go there and grab my dummy profile image. And now let's add it here. So it will be our default user profile picture. Pretty good stuff. Now let's build and run again and let's see how that works. And I will just scroll down all the way out. Well, we just 
go to the save user info into the database. Uh, let us just sign out. And now let's sign in anonymously again. And we are there. Now we want to fetch our user. And as you can see, we indeed did uh, manage to go through with the fetch and we grab our profile picture that has been saved. And we have this UID that is the Firebase UID. Now, next up, I want to clear this up because as you can see we don't have the user's name, the user's username. We only have this UID and of course we don't have the email. And once again, if you can recall in the Twitter episode, we don't really have our email. Now, I want them to make this a little cleaner. So let me just go into our user profile and in the Let's see where it is. Yes, and the fetch user button. When we tap on the fetch user button, we are essentially grabbing our data from the database. Now, uh, here is our UID label, our name label. So what I want to do is basically, we know that we will surely have a profile image view and a UID label. So we will leave that alone. We will always have that. But we might not have a name, a username or an email. So what I want to check for is that all of these three, if they are an empty string. So if they are empty, so let's hit here two and let's ask that. If they are empty, then Let's see here, uh, user, let's, that is just a simple name. And I will type in here, not available. Okay, otherwise we will just type, grab our user.name. Okay, let's build out again and let's see what happens. We should get for the name a name and not available. Let's fetch our user. Okay, here we have our name and not available. Good. Now let's do the same for the username and the email. Great, now let's build and run again and see how that looks. Let's fetch our user. And there we go. Because we are logged in anonymously, we have node available name, username and email. And that will be just fine when we log in with Facebook or Twitter. Okay, one last thing that I want to take care of is go into the welcome view controller and let's just go through these real quick. We have a service show alert. I want to change this into the service dismiss HUD. Okay, I will just delete all. Well, first of all, I want to type in here an error, failed to sign in with error. And the error should be our localized description. Okay, let's remove that. And finally, I will just type in this localized description to this error too. Let's just scroll down add our localized description there too. And I believe we are ready. Let me just go through each error here. Great. We are ready refactoring, bug fixing, and maybe adding some error localized description fixes to our app. That is it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more videos of me about, well, in this episode about Firebase authentication. And as usual, I will see you in the next one.